What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Back to Ball and World. I'm coming to y'all today with another lit reaction video, bro. So, as y'all know, your boy play Call of Duty. I'm a Call of Duty lover. I love it, man. I am a fiend for it, especially that Warzone. So, y'all know I had to react to this video today. This is why I'm so turned because you know I had to react to this video today. We reacting to Mr. Phase Swag himself. Two time champion. So I know he got like five, six hundred wins. <laughs> but anyways, man, I'm ready to meet FaZe Swag. So Swag, he's a Twitch streamer. He plays Call of Duty. He goes crazy. I steal half of his classes on his YouTube channel. Make up my classes and um I c I don't complain. I average about like eighteen, twenty kills every nine to ten games. <laughs> away from each other <laughs> but anyways man please like comment this up without further ado let's get to the video yeah 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 you don't really see a lot of like african-american like streamers so it's a that's a fact bro that's a fact that's mainly why i bang with bro too because he's an african american streamer bro that's nothing but love because he's doing his thing and he's a brother kind of have that represented especially in the time we are now i think it's very important but yeah man there's a lot of people coming up even though he yellow but he, he african-american bro <laughs> and i'm excited to see more uh, black creators as well yeah. my name is chris lamberson uh i'm 24 years old and i'm face swag uh, i was born in santa monica i've lived in la for about like three years and then my mom's job got transferred out to phoenix and now i've been in phoenix i, I grew up in south phoenix and then I've been here ever since. Yeah. Sorry. So right now, man, uh, heading to the gym. Uh, like I said, I think it's really important. Fitness is really important, especially for gaming, man. We don't really move around a lot during the day. At all, bro. I had to stop streaming, y'all. Like, I got fat, bro. I got big, bro. I had to, bro. I haven't streamed in a month, bro. Because for one, you don't do nothing but stream, bro. And streamers, I throw my I throw my do rag off to y'all. Like I throw the do rag off to every streamer, like that that's a partner streamer and that streams all the time. That's very consistent with streaming because streamers, y'all, is different from YouTubers overall. Some content creators they put a lot of content and a lot of like amazing like stuff into their videos but you have to stream every single day not every single day sometimes you can take some days off but you stream every day it's an every day it's an ongoing thing not to mention not to mention guys you're sitting at the game all day for like 10 hours eight hours some grinders be like 10 hours a day five hours a day four hours a day six hours a day like the time varies bro and then it's just you don't know when like you're always on call Day. So I hit the gym with my trainer about like three times a week. It's not bad. And uh, yeah, yeah, my best friend, I've been taking him out the last couple months, and uh, y'all finna meet him too. So I'm, I'm mad excited, man. We finna get this working. It might be Jay Smooth. He might be talking about Jay Smooth. It might be his best friend. I met Chris around oh. the age of 15, 14, going into my freshman year of high school. I remember like it was yesterday. I brought over my 360, brought over both my controllers, and we were playing MW2. We were doing 1v1s on Scrapyard. She was so curious, I felt like, about the game and like, what's a quick scope and how are you doing this? And like, so he was obviously horrible and I would just destroy him. What's good, Aaron, man? You ready to get this working? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My man. Let's get it. So what we got today, Aaron? I'm a triplet, so it was kind of unique, man. Uh, just had, being three at once, we'd always fight. You know, everything oh, was split into three. Oh, that's dope. He's, I'd be in their channel with him, too. I'd be trying to, like, yo, can I play? Like, can I get my turn? But he would just be like, nah, I gotta, I gotta do this. And after that, he just started making YouTube videos. And after that, I was like, all right, I'm gonna just buy my own. I thought he was gonna be a basketball player. And then, you know, as his friend started playing video games and he started yeah. getting into it, there was just a complete difference. I don't know, he kept busy. He's uh, He was a good kid. He really didn't get in a lot of trouble. He didn't like taking baths. He used to cry. <gasps> Face would be turned red. But... <laughs> that was when he was a baby, but. He was a quiet kid, you know what I mean? He was very kind of, you know, more into himself. But I knew there was just something special about him as he was growing up, you know what I mean? About just what he was doing and it just. Yeah. The brighter the lights I found with Chris, the better he performed. At least in sports and everything like that. And I, for me, that translates. Now he's an eSports professional Call of Duty player, bro. He's a real-life slicer out here, bro. 
Y'all know nothing about that, bro. We call him real life slicers because he be on that joint <laughs> going crazy on the duty, man. That's on, bro. That's his turf right there. Bro. Over. Ain't he riding out, bro? Chat, listen, I'm not riding the wave. Don't say that, bro. Stop saying I'm riding the wave right now, bro. Because I'm not riding the wave, bro. Stop it now, bro. Life itself. <clears throat> Need some dang water, bro. It was pretty normal, man, up until like when we got to high school because my parents put us through private high school. And that's when my dad took two jobs. My mom started picking up. She always did graveyard. So she would work all night and then try to take care of us during the day. Yeah. Played basketball all the time. We went to basketball games. Their dad coached. So I was in the stands hollering all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I always had to say that um, competition breeds champions. You just want to make yourself better. <gasps> Good working. It was, yeah. I'm gonna go freshen up, and then yeah, you want to go hit the town, go see, it, go see the city. Of course. Bro. All right, for sure. All right, Aaron. All right, my man. All right. So right now we're about to go back to the old high school, man. The old stopping grounds with my boy Jay. See where I used to take his lunch money? Yeah. And your lunch. I used to take your lunch, too. Your mom would bring you those dino nuggets, and I would jack them real quick. Bro, he ain't denied. He just said that was crazy, bro. <laughs> I was like, nah, let me stop. Let me stop, man. Back in, like, 2012, I used to listen to this group called Kelly Swag District, you know, and all the grade schools. He was all I know that is. and stuff like that. And I remember I just... That was like the cool thing back in the day. So I put in the Xbox gamer tag and it gave me the XX Kelly swag. And that's kind of just kind of ran with that. So I went to a, a public elementary school and then right next door was a was a private school and uh, it was called Arizona Lutheran Academy. We lived in a, probably the roughest part of Phoenix and it was either go to like the two roughest schools or yeah. put us through private schools so we can, you know, a flourish in a sense and not get caught up in a lot of the troubles oh, i went to true, three true. state championship games finally won my senior year and at the time while doing all this i was gaming see how far i've come in like two years i believe it's it's quite it's pretty funny man you guys are definitely gonna enjoy this thank you guys so much for all the support on my channel it has mean a lot let me know in the comment section what you guys think and if i should turn this into like a series where yeah. i watch a bunch of my old videos and stuff like that if we get 100 likes on this video that would definitely mean a lot yeah, i was like about like 5 a.m to play you know just to get you know just get better at call of duty because my friends yeah. were all better than me and that was the one thing they had over me basketball they couldn't they couldn't talk to me but gaming Back they track. were always talking trash so jeez bro we at the old stomping grounds a lot of time. i had good times here our school is outside so our lockers everything's outside it's got a covering bro remember trying to unlock your your locked and books i hated lockers bro that thing used to burn it was so freaking hot you gotta tell him the time I dunked on you. Oh, Remember? What? Uh, I went down baseline. Yeah, huh? And yeah. rose up you and did that? banged on yeah. your yeah. Okay. You don't remember that? No, because you never did that. You said I ended up going to a university called Arizona Christian University. Played basketball there for about two years. The first year, I ended up tearing my labrum. So between my freshman and sophomore year, I had surgery. I sat oh, out for like seven man. months. And that's when I really was curious about this you know, game of things. I was bored. So I wanted to make videos. And just do something that kind of just snowballed. My dad had always said, like, if you're gonna do something, you definitely wanna do it your best. So with gaming, I wanted to be the best Call of Duty player that I could be to put out the best type of content, because that's what I yeah. wanted to do. Damn, I used to smack you in the MW2. Damn. Yeah, but now it's the other way around, no shot. I mean, <laughs> I'll let you have your glory, but I'll really, like, you know. Do what? Bro? It's like, we won me one in BO4, and I, you literally didn't kill me. What? Hey, I seen that video, bro. He destroyed that man, bro. I seen it. <sighs> I was looking at like um some of Jace moves like YouTube videos a while back, like two months back. Like, yo, let me see what Jace moves about. And like I think that's that's like one of like the first like vids on like the recommendations on this channel. It happened. It, but it's like, you know. And I'll let you have like one or two kills the, just so the string didn't cook you. No, the much. student surpassed the master and I'm I'm very fortunate uh, here we go. that my training yeah, 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 yeah. got you to where you are. It really started getting crazy, I think my junior year. And I literally had a kid before class watching one of his, like, BO4 class of the video. I remember you FaceTimed me. And I FaceTimed him before class, and I was like, bro, this kid's watching your vid. Oh, man. What? The old crib. This purple house right here. 
That's a bad idea. I used idea to play in, in that garage. This house what? right here, man, is where I called through high school is where too. I stayed at, man. And this little small garage right here is where I used to play at all the time. There was yeah. no air conditioning. It was 110 in the summer when I would play Modern Warfare 3. And that's kind of where I would wake up in the morning and come and play in the garage. Yeah. It was like soundproof so my parents couldn't really hear me rage. Yeah, when they were younger, we didn't let them have TVs in their room. So we would have- That's so smart, bro. Like, that is really, really smart. Like, you can't, um, had TVs in room as a kid. My mom, she didn't let me get my driver's license until I was out of high school. <laughs> yeah, she wanted me to focus more on school. Even though I was doing good, she just said, nah, I'm a, that's, that's, that's a dead mission. Captain, I was like, all right, bet, bet. I put the TV in the garage so he could be out there playing yeah. the game because he would be so loud. To actually get air in there so I didn't pass out, I would lift the garage up a little bit just so airflow could come in while I play. My favorite card is BO2, though. That's the one I used to like. Black Ops 2, your favorite we color. We hard on BO2. You played BO2, right? Yeah, we used to. Remember we played multi-team? Oh, bro, that's when I got my nuke. That was so fun. <laughs> that was so easy. Bro, it was easy. And they were all that Timmy's. Was. Timmy's, bro. <laughs> Hey, chat, comment down below what was your favorite Call of Duty? Mine, personally, mine was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And my second one was Call of Duty Ghost. And then this Call of Duty, this Modern, this Modern Warfare right here. Um, comment down what's your favorite Call of Duty down below. Let me know. Also, like up. What's up? Well, we just pulled up to mom's crib, known around the Phoenix area for her cooking. Yeah. So we're, so we're about to pull up and say what's up. What's up, Mama? Good, how about you? You know, I think every kid, you know, who's really close with their mom uh, always wants to do something for them really special, Thanks. especially buy their mom a car. I mean, I feel like that that's like one of the goals when you when you, when you you quote-unquote make it. Yeah. You definitely want to help out moms, and she had been driving the same old car and needed a new one, so I figured it was, it was time. Well, that was quite excitement. We were just supposed to be going to dinner, and they told me to come outside, and he had his car, he had the car for me, so. Back to the apartment yeah, complex. Yeah, that's dope. Surprise my mom tomorrow. It was, uh, I was so happy, so proud of him. Look at that, that, man. As he works really hard. Doesn't get to spend a lot of time with family like he used to, but it's still good. You gotta make a sacrifice, bro. Did y'all hear what she just said? But it's still good. Did y'all hear, but did y'all hear what she just said, bro? So proud of him that he did that for me. As he works really hard. He works really hard. Does he get to spend a lot of time with family like he used to, but... He doesn't spend a lot of time with family like he used to because he's grinding. He's grinding. So he can pit the gaming aside later on in life and just make content with family, bro. You, you, oh, my God. Y'all not hearing her right now. That's still good. Yeah, he pinned gaming to the side, but... And he... Uh, stopped going yeah. to class in college and started doing swag full time and doing YouTube. It was, it took off. It was crazy. Cause I had, you know, friends at campus that would walk to me like, your swag sister. Can you tell me I said hi? <laughs> Dude, Barney was the goat. Oh, Barney was Amy the goat. Barney was the goat. sit on this table and All take pictures. Time. Into FaZe Clan? Well, it was back when, and it was during Black Ops 2 was one of the biggest things. Cause that's when I started watching Call of Duty on YouTube. And that's when they were going through their whole trick shotting phase. I mean, that's when like you had Apex, Rain, making all these videos and stuff like that. Yeah. And I remember I'd be playing, cause I don't really snipe, but I'd be playing going for nukes and I would get sniped and they have phase in their name. I'm like, what? why does everyone got phase in their name? Right now we about to pull up to my dad's crib where my brother also stays at. So excited to see them. Let's see what the vibe is with them. <sighs> Oh, sure, oh, yo. What's up, B? <laughs> What's up, What's going on, man? Hello, Hello. Yeah, of course, of course. Of Good course, to see you guys. man. Right on. Oh, you guys work out every day still? Like three times a week or something like that, yeah. It surprised me because the first time I seen Chris yeah. on film talking, you know, it, it, I didn't know who that was because that's not Chris to me. Chris to me is like you sitting down quiet, you know what I mean, on his phone. And the first time I seen him on screen, I was like, wow. I gotta find out who Swag is. <laughs> I just feel pride. I'm just proud of him. Right now, we're headed to my first ever job that I had, first and only ever job that I had. Working with my pops at the parking garage here at the Suns Arena. Flip. 
I do not miss the heat, that's for sure. Bro, people come a long way. And that's amazing right there, man. That's a beautiful thing, bro. Honestly, I can't. Wow. It's like, I can't wait. Man. Okay, we're on Talking Stick Award Resort Arena. This is where Chris uh, had his first job at. This is where the Phoenix Suns play at. He was working in the parking garage as a parking attendant. He did it for two years. So this is where the Suns play at, and this is where we have all the concerts at for downtown Phoenix. One of the bigger moments that I've had recently was buying my brother a car. And uh, ironically, it was a Nissan. <gasps> and uh, I just, you know, that's one of the things that I wanted to do if I made it to a certain level was to help out my family. Like, yeah. My car was breaking down. I needed new tires. Engine was going out, transmission was going out. And it was like, I, didn't, I couldn't afford it at the time. He texted me, I was just driving. I got a text from Chris, he's like, Yo, mom told me about your car. Like, let's go look at a car, look at a car tomorrow. And I was like, I was like, nah, nah, you're joking, bro. I was like, you being serious? And he was like, yeah, man, let's go tomorrow. Did you know you wanted a Nissan, or did you did you like were you just searching at the time? No, I've always wanted a Nissan. Always. For some reason, I, they're like super nice cars. Yeah. Went online, looked on Nissan's website, saw this one immediately. I was like, yo, we gotta go look at this one tomorrow. <laughs> Next day, go out at like 10 a.m. Look at the car, test drove it. The Jeez. The Nissan clean on the boys, bro. And I was like, I want it. We got it. And that's when we ended up getting it too, yeah. For the fact life that it was life. Nissan too, it was just. Yeah, and I didn't even think about that too, like how you're the sponsor, but I didn't either, yeah. Dang. Seth, Bro, thank you for the three months, man. Thank you for the sub as well. Hilo, thank you yeah. for the five. Gifted. Hall of Goat. Um, Driss, thank you for the subs, man. I appreciate it. So my relationship with my fans is uh, <laughs> is amazing. That's why I really want to start streaming because I really want to be personal. I really want to get to a lot, know them on a, like a first name basis. Like a yeah. lot of them, I know a lot of their lives now. Like I've always been about like doing it for them and being trying to make the best content for them rather than trying to get the most views. Yeah, they got the loadout here. I'm gonna try to snipe them. Where I see myself in five years, I always think about that question because it's like, where was I at five years ago? Only a hundred thousand five, bro. That's amazing. Bro, bro, like, really, like when he first started YouTube, I like make fun of him, like, oh yeah, like all these little kids just watch you, blah blah blah. But look where he's at now. He he grinded and nice. He's here. It's endless for him, honestly. Yeah. I have two down here. Tom, you never thought at that big this meal. point would be this big because I had, you know, I'm going to school, you know, playing basketball, going to college. So that's where my mindset was. But that was my path. I think God had another path for him. I mean, hopefully Call of Duty's still around because I love Call of Duty. Uh, I was see myself continue making content because content has no type of age limit or anything like that. That's Patel, right. thanks for the uh, sub. Lawson, Zumi with the five gifted. I just can't believe all this just from a, you know, most people don't even know how, you know, how much money the guys make from gaming. It's yeah. just crazy. It's just <laughs> I mean, you're just playing the games. Oh, I thought I thought that. John, that. I have my own careers and goals and it just shows me that if I put effort into them, I can accomplish them as well. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. It's all about working hard and just going crazy at the end, man. Just keep grinding it out. It might not look good when you first start. It's gonna get right. I did not have it's it. It's gonna get right. So just to see where we'll be at in five years, just continue growing with phase as well. I love phase clamp. Phase up. <laughs> phase up. I mean, I can't say that. I'm not a part of phase, man. That's like probably like a fret or something. Can't do that, man. Bowling squad up. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in today's video. Please like, comment, and sub. Not to mention, stay juiced up. Yo, yo, man. I can't get no rest. We in the house. I fall asleep with a tech. Fashion on the pills. I'm